Hello friends! Today I'm here to share with you another TBR for some readathons. There are actually two readathons at the end of June that kind of overlap a little bit. So I'm going to be doing Romance-a-thon from June 17th through the 23rd and this is hosted by I remember Gabby Reads, I don't remember the others. And then there's also Summerthon, which is from June 21st through the 27th. And this is hosted by, I think, like four people. And the only one I can remember is Heather at Bookables. So I have kind of. I found a book for each challenge. One book for each challenge, yes, because. Cause it's not gonna because it's not gonna happen I know it's not gonna happen but I found a book for each challenge and I've gotten three yes I've gotten three that overlap for romance-a-thon and summer-a-thon so I'm going to share with you what I'm reading for romance-a-thon first and then I'll get into summer-a-thon and just kind of glaze over the ones that overlap if that makes sense because I will have already explained them I'll show you what I mean anyway the first challenge for Romance-a-thon is a Forbidden Romance. For that, I'm not too sure if this is actually forbidden, but I'm gonna read Better When He's Bad by Jay Crownover. This is about a man who has been to prison who starts falling for a woman who is an in like an innocent woman. She tries to do good. She's had some hardships, but she tries to be good. So I don't really know if this is forbidden, but I'm gonna count it because I am. The second challenge is read a new adult romance, and for that I have Best Kind of Broken by Chelsea Fine. This is about a woman who has had some traumatic stuff happen in her past, and she takes this summer job at an inn? Yes, yeah, she takes a summer job at an inn and ends up meeting back up with a boy that she knew when all of the traumatic stuff happened. And he kind of feels like he's to blame for what happened and for her leaving. And this is them kind of rekindling their romance. And I'm actually super excited for this one. I've been putting it off for so long, but I just, I really feel like I'm going to love it. The next challenge is read a book with pink on the cover. And for that, I have Rainy Day Friends by Jill Chavez. And like, you probably can't see it, but there's a pair of flip flops that are pink. I'm going to go with it. Okay, I'm going to go with it. This is about a woman who, after her husband's death, learns that he had a complete other family that she knew nothing about. So she goes to, is it an inn again? A winery. She goes to a family-run winery, and I'm assuming she's going to fall in love with one of the sons of the family. Challenge number four is read a book released in 2019, and I don't actually have that one yet. It's coming out on this Tuesday that I'm filming, and that is Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. I am so excited for this. I love home renovation shows, and I've read a couple of home renovation books that I really enjoyed, so I'm super excited about this one. Don't actually know much about it other than that yet. The fifth challenge is read a book with a man on the cover, and for that I'm going with Third Base by Hattie McLaughlin. I forgot to take that tag off. I wonder if I can take that tag off. Ooh. This is obviously about a baseball player who sees this girl at a game and must know her, and it's something about secrets and must prove to her that the rumors are just rumors. I don't know much about this. It's got a man on the cover. It's baseball. I like baseball. And I like baseball players. So, we're gonna read it. The sixth challenge is to read an LGBT romance. And again, I'm gonna try for red, white, and royal blue. I wasn't in the mood for it during Smutathon the first time I like put it on a TBR. So maybe I'll get to it in this one. This is, um, everybody's heard about this book, but it's about the President of the United States son and the Prince of Wales who have some type of thing happen or something and they're forced to be friends and then from their friendship comes more. And finally, the seventh challenge is to read seven romance books. So I have six already, five plus the one that's coming. I was like, why is there? Five plus the one that's coming. So I wanted to add in a seventh book, which I picked up from the other readathon challenges so it can be part of the overlapping. 
and that is Turn and Burn by Lorelai James, part of her Blacktop Cowboy series. This is about Tana, who is, was the friend of one of the other books that I read. She is a barrel racer on the rodeo circuit, and I believe she gets injured, and so she's not actually from the town where all these books are set in, but she gets injured and comes to stay with her friend who owns a ranch there now. And she meets Fletch, who has been the veterinarian in almost every book so far. And I'm so excited he finally gets a story. I am so excited to read this one. I'm going to love it so much. I know it. Okay, so that is the Romance-a-thon TBR. Let me share with you the challenges for Summer-a-thon and show you which ones are new books and which ones are books that are overlapping. So the first challenge for Summer-a-thon is Read a Beachy Read. And for that, I'm going with Rainy Day Friends by Jill Shalvis. The cover is a beach. I'm assuming the winery is close to the beach. I don't know. It looked like a beachy read, so that's what I'm going to do. Challenge number two is read a book with sunrise colors on the cover, and I'm going to go with Turn and Burn by Lorelai James. I believe this is actually a sunset, but we're going to go with it because it's kind of the, yeah, the yellowy color. Challenge number three is road trip or travel, read a road trip or traveling or summer vacation book. And I'm going to go with Girls Who Travel by Nicole Trillivis. This is about a girl who has done kind of a backpack around the world trip. And now that she's home, she feels very wanderlusty. So she takes a job London? Yes, yeah, she takes a nanny job in London just to kind of feed into her travel bug. Wise and witty about the incomparable thrill of discovering something new, Girls Who Travel is a novel about finding your way to yourself and the unexpected detours that make the trip truly unforgettable. So it's a travel book. Challenge number four is read a book set in summer. And I'm not entirely sure that this is actually set in summer, but baseball season is during the summer. So I'm going to read Third Base by Hattie McLaughlin for this one. Challenge number five is read a book with food on the cover. And for that, I'm going to go with Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. It's got waffles on the cover. This is about a girl who's, her, she was raised by a single parent and her single parent gets married. I don't know if it's her father or her mother. It's not really clear to me. But she moves and has to start a new school her junior year and she starts this kind of online communication with somebody in her school as like an anonymous communication. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on in this book, but I'm going to read it. I bought it because the cover was cute. And finally, challenge number six is drink your favorite summer drink while reading. So probably going to go get myself a cherry limeade from Sonic at some point during the week and yep drink it while I'm reading that'll be easy to do so that is what I'm reading for Romance-a-thon and Summer-a-thon if you are participating in any of these read-a-thons leave me down below what your TBR is I'd really be interested to know because as I learned from Smut-a-thon sometimes I'm just not in the mood for what I say I'm gonna read so that's what my plan is for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!